not everyone's a morning person and there aren't enough hours in the day for kids, hobbies, work. Life's too short to go walking around all day in a sleepy haze. So these are some tips for how I get up every single, most mornings, usually, at 6.45 a.m. Drink a glass of water immediately upon waking. Uh, just drink the whole thing when you get up. Uh, it's totally weird, but it really works. After a full night's sleep, you're probably a little dehydrated, and for whatever reason, drinking water just seems to help the body realize that it's time to get up. Be careful where you put the water, though. Nothing ruins your day or your clothes or your alarm clock like a clumsy spill. Next, and I know this is an old tip, but it really works, pick out your clothes the night before. Making decisions, even small ones about you know which shirt or tie to wear can be really challenging in the wee hours when you're really tired. I've even contemplated just wearing the same thing every single day. My wife says it's pretty sad, but she's never gone an entire day with backwards underwear and an inside out shirt. Uh, how you get roused from sleep is just as important as you know what you do immediately afterward. And I've tried a hundred different alarm clocks and apps, and for the most part, I just tend to sleep through them. Uh, what, what you see here, this is the Philips wake-up light. And it's been a very different, very nice way to wake up. It's this calming, gentle reminder that your day is starting versus the sort of heart-stopping shudder of a clanging alarm or a smartphone ringtone. And it's really nice. I like it a lot. So here I'm just setting a time and the Philips wake-up light just slowly starts to light up my bedroom, sort of simulating the sunrise. It does that 30 minutes before I need to be awake and this pulls me out of sleep at a really comfortable pace so that when the alarm actually sounds and it uses really nice calming nature noises, uh, you're really ready to go. Got some other options here. You've got uh, the option to actually use the wake up light as a light in your room, and you can adjust the brightness. You've got a radio built in if you know if you're into that. If you want to wake up to FM radio, you can do that. You've even got a sleep setting. And then one of the interesting settings for me is the sleep sunset setting. So you can actually push a button, it'll start out at one of the brightness levels, and then as you lie in your bed, it's going to decrease the brightness over time. So if you like to go to bed with the sunset, you can, you can use this too. So I'm not gonna lie and say that, uh, you know, I, I get up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed every single morning at 6.45, but the uh, Philips wake up light actually does help me kind of prepare myself for my day instead of being jarred out of sleep by, uh, you know, a clanging klaxon. Um, it's, it's much more relaxing. It definitely gets me up earlier. And uh, it sure beats a uh, douse of water. You can find the Philips wake up light for sale at Philips websites uh, on Amazon and at most retail stores. We've got links on the Geek Dad site, along with some more tips for how you can wake up easier every single morning.